Hello and welcome to my Wine Druid Guide. I will first go over the stats. You want enough strength just to wear your spirit shield. You want nothing in dexterity. The rest goes into vitality and nothing in energy. You don't really worry about defense. The mana problems are nearly non-existent. And then you want to cap resistance. Now it's hard to cap fire resistance. Um, you could do it, but it would require some other gear that I wouldn't really recommend. Let's go over the build. You take one into Arctic Blast, and then max Cyclone Armor, Twister, Tornado, and Hurricane. Nothing in shape shifting skills, it's not needed at all. And then summoning just one skill into Raven, Spirit Wolf, Dire Wolf, and Grizzly. And then max Oak Sage with whatever remaining skills you have left when you have put all the skills into Elemental. Now we'll show the gear. Mage Fist Gloves, just because you need the faster cast rate and the other stats are okay. Two Stone of Jordans for damage and the likes and a rock belt. Sandstorm tracks. Try to get one with better stats than mine. You could go with Ethereal as well. And Herd of Oak. Probably the overall best way for, for many classes and it's pretty cheap. And Enigma because you need to be able to Tailor Bomb. Spirit Monarch. And Mars, and then the win for the Yellows. Uh, to get a really good helmet, you should get one of the rare one that gives five to Tornado or something like that. Those are hard to trade for, and they can be very expensive, but it's definitely uh, the best weapon option. Now we'll just go over the the charms. You want life small charms. Try to get some with maybe fire resistance, something like that. And then some elemental skills. Try to get some with life. And that's pretty much the gear in the build. Um, now we'll just quickly showcase the Merc. Now the Merc, I like killing blows on my Mercs, so I went with a Duris for 33% chance of crossing blow. Now this one is pretty low rolled. You can get more defense on it. And then a Gullion Space for even more crossing blow. And then I took an Reverse Tall because the proc can help on physical immunes. And since your tornado are physical damage and not say an elemental damage like cold or fire, it can help. And that's pretty much the build. Now we'll showcase a uh, fast clear of Keras Sanctuary. I will just buff real quick so you can see just how much life I'm getting. Because this build has a load of it. And then I use Raven. And that's all the summons I do. Or actually, also use Oak Shades, of course. I just done a bad bind there. <laughs> and Cyclone Armor. And then I do War again for all my summons so they get the buff as well. And let's teleport up. Now as you can see I do have good cast frames. I can teleport pretty fast. It's almost as good as uh, say a wizard or something like that. And then just remember to keep hurricane up. And then teleport on top of the mobs. Anyways, let's clock the time now. 
and going. Now as you can see I can pretty much just instant kill things. There's not much waiting. And then you just have to remember to tailor all the time. It's basically like a hammer paladin. You just need to tailor bomb right on top of the mob so you need to click on. That is to ensure that the hurricane oh no, I mean the tornadoes always hit fast. And you don't really take any damage because they are also frozen fast because of the hurricane. Now it can be a bit stressing to play this build. Um, tailor bombing is a bit annoying. Kind of have to always just kind of stress about it, but that's the only downside of the build. Now sometimes your summons dies, so you want to resummon those. With my summons, I have almost 5,000 lives. Um, Oak Sage can die pretty fast, you need to watch that. Pretty smooth playing there. Some mobs stuck in here, bit annoying. Gonna have to skip those. Now the good thing about this build is also that you don't have to worry about any immunes. It's pretty much the overall best build to clear everything in the game. Um, Hammer Paladins can probably hit even more things, but I really really enjoy just not having to worry about immunes. Which also means I don't have to uh, try to think about using an infinity or anything like that. Now as you can see cold immune so I do kill kill a little slower since my hurricane didn't do any damage in that one. And I can pretty much just stand in these guys without pretty pretty much taking any damage. Now for the bus damage, um, the bus damage is pretty good on this character. It's not the highest, but it's workable. Okay, this was an okay clear time in less than 4 minutes, about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Not the fastest clear, but it's okay. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you liked the guide and goodbye.